Okay, I stayed at hotel or hostel Alcatraz. It's a beautiful little place. Everybody was friendly. And Chao. Mucho gusto. En Costa Rica. Ya también. Gracias. A ver. Gracias. All right, so had a great time at the hostel. And uh, made some friends. Enjoyed a beautiful town. Stayed here over the weekend. And uh, it's a really beautiful town. Hard to ride around in. Kinda winded already just from loading the bike. <laughs> but anyhow, this was a great pit stop. Super friendly people, as always, but I'm always shocked at how nice people are. How great they uh, treat me. Uh, on the way in, it was raining buckets. And uh, I don't know if I'll go through here on the way out, but there's some cobblestone streets. They're not the big cobblestones like the ones right here. They're the, the little pebble kind. And uh, it was raining really hard and it was an uphill. And there's a taxi in front of me, just like this guy. And uh, he decides to stop, pick up a fare. And uh, so it's, it's uphill, I would say at least, at the very minimum, 20 degrees, maybe more. And uh, so I stop, slam on my brakes, and immediately the bike starts sliding backwards. And I was shitting my pants. I have no idea how I managed not to drop the bike, but it slid, locked up the front wheel, it kept sliding backwards. I had both my feet in the ground so I couldn't pick up my right foot and put it on the back brake. So I kept sliding and uh, Um, slid until the back wheel touched with the uh, curve because it started going sideways and once I stopped uh, there was an old lady I wish I had the video camera on there was an old lady looking at me and I think she was even more scared than I was <laughs> uh, poor old lady I almost gave her a heart attack she thought I was going to kill myself and it all happened in kind of slow motion but uh, uh that was really scary. And uh, so lesson learned, when there's an uphill on a cobblestone, wait until all traffic's clear at the bottom, then go up it. Oh, and drop your tire pressure. Anyhow, this is San Miguel de Allende. So you can see there's churches around every corner. This one is just magnificent. Came over here yesterday, took a bunch of pictures, sat around and uh, one of the most amazing things that made me cry happened to me in that plaza. I was sitting there. Uh, I'd been, I hang out with, with the people at the hostel the night before, but uh, everybody that uh, I met had left. So I was kind of on my own. I went, bought a coffee, and sat down on a bench at the plaza, and I'm looking at the kids playing. And uh, it was it was really 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 beautiful. The the kids here, they're kind of just not afraid. They're you know they're just out playing, having fun, being kids the way they should be, I guess. And uh, anyhow, uh, it's getting emotional telling the story. But uh, I'm sitting there and I was feeling a little down, just thinking about Sahar and you know. Um, how I'd always asked her to uh, move to Mexico with me. She always wanted to have kids, and I really never liked the kids in the States. Everybody's got their own opinion, but mine is just, kids over there are just naughty. They end up abandoning their parents. 
Uh, I'm sure there's there's lots of good kids in the States, and I've actually met some, but you know, as a general rule of thumb, I think kids here are just awesome. They, they love their parents. The family is just completely united. And uh, anyhow, so I'm sitting there, you know, thinking about all that and thinking about Sahar, and I guess I must have looked sad because this, uh, this little girl was sitting around playing with balloons and um, cute little girl. And uh, she walks up to me and she hands me a balloon and she goes, you look like you're sad. Here's a balloon. You should be happy. And I just about, well, I, I did start crying. And uh, I don't know, it's, you don't see that in many other places. And uh, it, it really, really struck me. So, so there I am sitting in front of the plaza or in the plaza and crying in front of this little girl. And she starts crying too. So I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> Dad's going to come out of the woods and kick my ass. But uh, anyhow, I wiped my tears, faked the smile, thanked her for the balloon. And uh, she goes, I, I think you need ice cream too. You're too sad. So she brings the ice cream man, and <laughs> she had an ulterior motive. She wanted me to buy her an ice cream. <laughs> so bought her an ice cream, bought myself an ice cream, and we sat there on the bench. And um, well, parents came around the corner and you know talked to her, said hello to me, and eh, that was that was something. So anyhow, San Miguel de Allende. Beautiful little town. It's the uh, birthplace of the Mexican Revolution. And uh, not to be missed if you're ever in this area. Again, as in almost every town that I've been to, uh, every town, people have been just amazing, beautiful, kind, and uh, always willing to help and talk and be friendly and. Uh, I think I'll come back to this place one day. Huh. Well, hope you guys are enjoying my travels. Uh, oh, another great thing. Um, after I uh, found out that uh, they stole my top box, I was kind of pissed off and just kind of down, thinking, oh shoot, I'm only maybe a tenth or less of the way into my travel to Argentina and I've already lost the top box on the uh, bike and as uh, soon as I got to uh, the hostel here and uh, looked at my emails I got a, an $80 donation from uh, uh, Don sorry Don I forgot your last name but uh, from Washington and uh, well Hell, that made my day. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Well, with that, heading out of town, going to DF in Mexico City. It's about 250 kilometers away. And it seems like it's going to be a beautiful day for riding. So I'm going to try to enjoy it and just have a good time.